biters, barkers, humpers, and shakers. Live from the Cujo Arena, it's the Badminster Dog Show. Hello, I'm Judas Chrysler. And I'm Miriam Jeans. Dogs. They're just like us. Some of them bite kids. That's correct. <laughs> this show celebrates those canine freaks who prevent their owners from having company or intimacy. Today is for them. Here come our judges, Jane Bosworth and Mickey Bosworth. Yeah, they... <laughs> they run a desert-based dog ranch that's either an animal rescue or a hoarding situation. The dogs know not to mess with them, and frankly, neither would I. And here's our first competitor. From the shaking group, it's Luna. Now, Luna hates the sound beep. And if she hears it, she will try and climb up to your hair. For her, the 4th of July is a war, and the only safe space is behind the toilet. Luna is also scared of plastic bags, men in hats, pineapples, balloons, the Netflix startup sound, her owners being in two separate rooms, and uh, this is embarrassing. The sound of spoken Spanish. And she also has what, what the vet calls tangy vajangy. A vet said that? Yes, yeah, she did. Uh, let's go to the judges. All right, tell us about Luna. If her favorite blanket is not fluffed correctly, she will cry real tears until I fix it. If my boyfriend comes home and, she, and he's near sitting, me, sitting on the couch, she will scream until he leaves. I, my life is hell and I miss my friends. All right. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, take her around. Mm -hmm. No, no, don't clap. Do not clap. If these dogs hear any sound, they will kill them. Please do not clap. A reminder from the judges not to clap. Yes, and next from the mean group, it's Pigeon. Pigeon is a sexual predator <laughs> who has been banned from every dog park in the state of Maryland. Now, the vet called him not welcome here, and the groomer called him manipulative. Pigeon wants tripped an old lady on purpose. Yeah, his owner said, quote, it looked like an accident, but I swear to God, I saw him laugh. <laughs> Let's check in with the judges. Well, uh, what is Pigeon's daily routine? Well, he wakes me up at five by biting my feet. Then he goes in the hamper, grabs my girlfriend's underwear, drags it under the dining room table, and barks aggressively. I see. And why did you choose this monster? Oh, well, when we first got him, he was so quiet. Uh, turns out he was just traumatized. This is bad to say, but I miss that version of him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. Now, now Judas, it, it says here that you and I are married. I, isn't that right? Uh, that is right. And now we do this. <laughs> yes. Well, Walking group, it's Blueberry. Hey, uh, sorry. Blueberry, come on. Blueberry, please. No, Blueberry, I'm not picking you up. Blueberry, we flew here. Blueberry, you grounded a flight. <laughs> sorry. Blueberry once slid on a tile floor and it permanently made him insane. Yeah, he will only poop in the middle of the street and he is medically unable to be in a car. And to be clear, Blueberry can walk, he just chooses not to. Amazing, truly pointless. <laughs> and lastly, from the medical group, it's Gizmo. Now, Gizmo has bad feet, bad skin, bad teeth, bad anal glands, and a bad brain, the total package. He's allergic to anything that is or isn't duck. <laughs> Judges squinting at something on his tummy. All right, uh, can you tell us about his weird little penis? Yes. His weird little dog penis is too big for his frame, so when he bends down a certain way, it gets stuck outside his body for hours, and it dries out so it won't go back in, and it has to be lubricated and reinserted by a veterinarian several times a week. I hate saying that, and I say it a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Well? Looks like the judges are about to announce the winner. Let's take a moment to thank our sponsor, Thundershirt. Thundershirt, squeeze your stupid dog with Thundershirt. <laughs> 
The winner will take home the golden bathroom trash, along with a lifetime supply of buffalo chicken bones from the sidewalk. Yes, and the winner is Gizmo. <laughs> If you've got it, flaunt it. Yeah, cut away.